So I've been a video creator for five years now, and one of the things that surprised me the most is just how challenging live streaming is. And one of the things that I've struggled with personally while streaming is the multitasking aspect. This is because a great stream consists of high level gaming, consistent interaction with your chat and viewers, good music, sound effects, and of course, graphic overlays and transitions. Now executing all of this simultaneously can sort of feel like a circus juggling act. So desperate for a solution, I searched the depths of Google and found the Loop Deck Live X. And if you haven't heard of it before, it's a customizable console specifically designed with live streamers in mind. I do want to take a moment to thank the folks over at Loop Deck for not only sending me out a Live S to test and review with you guys, but also for being today's video sponsor. Unboxing our Loop Deck Live S, obviously it is going to come with the Loop Deck itself. You're going to also get a 79 inch USB type C cable with a type A adapter, a 35 degree detachable stand, and of course, quick start guides. Taking a look at the hardware, the Loop Deck Live S has 15 touchscreen buttons on the face. These buttons can all be customized based on your workflow, and these buttons also do provide haptic feedback. That way you know if you actually press the button or not. The cool part is you can not only press in on them and select certain functions or features, but you can also swipe between them to reveal up to 14 additional pages. This really gives the user unlimited options as far as customizing their console. Ordering the touchscreen, you will notice four tactile buttons. These buttons do feature RGBs, which makes makes them easily to distinguish from one another. They do have a nice clicky feel to them and they provide a good feedback when pressed. I like to use them as hotkeys to swap between pages on my loop deck rather than utilizing the swiping method as mentioned before. Taking a glance at the top left corner of our loop deck, we have two customizable multifunction analog dials. These dials when turned provide a hefty click, giving strong feedback to its user. A few different use cases for the dials, they can be used as a volume control, brightness control, or even scroll up and down on a web page. But one cool thing you may not expect is that these can actually be clicked in and pressed like a button, which makes great for a mute functionality. Through my testing, I've been using the top dial to control my line in master volume coming from my gaming PC, which gives me great sense of control for things like my microphone and gameplay. And the bottom dial is to control my volume on my Spotify music, which I primarily run from my streaming PC. I'm a really big fan of these dials. They are well crafted and are very enjoyable to use. Now looking at the back of the Live S, there is also a detachable stand which gives us two different viewing angles for our loop deck. I prefer the stand on if I have it up and away on my desk riser and then I prefer the stand off if I have it sitting next to my keyboard while I'm streaming. The good thing about the stand is that it's lightweight and compact. The bad thing is it's a little too flimsy for my liking. I would prefer something a little more robust or even make the whole loop deck a little thicker and have the stand built right in. So now let's get into a couple of the features of the loop deck. In short, the loop deck makes the work of content creation easier. You can use it as a customizable console to interact directly with creative software that you use day to day. This would include softwares like OBS, Twitch, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, After Effects, and even more. So here I'm ready to start streaming, but I need to open up all the stuff on my streaming PC because as right now you can just see it's on the home menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my loop deck. I kind of have it set up with a lot of the stuff that I like to use. So I'll go ahead and open up YouTube because I am going to be streaming to YouTube. And what I can do is I can go ahead and set this up in a way that's going to make sense for my workflow. And when I open my OBS up here, this is going to get me ready to stream. And as you can see, it already has my gaming scene on there. And if we wait a minute, the loop deck's actually going to recognize that we've opened OBS and it's going to pick up that profile and allow me to switch through my scenes and everything right here on my console, which will be really nice. So from here, you can see that it opened up the profile. Right now we're on my gaming scene and that's why you can see me there and the gameplay, but I could also switch it for example, I have intro set up. I have my intermission set up. I have my be right back, my YouTube scene in case I want to actually film an intro or my ending scene there. The knobs I have controlled. So obviously we can do volume, master volume or music from Spotify. And it kind of just gives me an extra arm here and an easy way to quickly navigate through controlling two different PCs on one stream. It's important to mention that the loop deck does work not only with PCs, but you can also use it with your MacBooks as well. I actually prefer to do all my creative work like editing and Photoshop on my MacBook. The first thing that I do is open up my computer and I kind of have the operating softwares. I like to open up music on Spotify. Once I get that going, then I'll open up Google and I'll also open up YouTube and then I can start the workflow for the day. So here I'm ready to work on one of my thumbnails. So I opened up Photoshop and as you can see, the loop deck is really great because it's like all the hotkeys I would use for the commands on my keyboard. I've just programmed them into the touchscreen interface and then I use knobs to change things 
things like sizes, brightness scales, or even volumes for my music while I'm doing this. It really just streamlines my workflow and almost makes me feel like I have a third hand. It's really handy and nice. This really did cut down and streamline a lot of my work. It felt like my workflow was almost effortless and like I had a third hand. So if you're a professional that does a lot of editing or you're a live streamer, this absolutely should be on your desktop. If you guys want to check it out closer or purchase one for yourselves, I will leave a link down in the description below.